Hello friends and members of the M25. I'm Eric and for those of you who don't know me, I'm an ex officio member of the Coordinating Collective. And I'm also the guy who's been receiving all the proposals and amendments that you've been sending uh, the past few days on whether DM25 should unfold an electoral wing to strengthen our mission for democratizing Europe. This conversation of how to take our policies and bring them to European voters is not a new one to our movement. Indeed, it's been going on since our Rome event, which was back in March, where we presented our European New Deal. And with that presentation, we also opened up to ideas and recommendations on how we could take our progressive policies and bring them to balance across the continent. Since then, many of our members in the EU and beyond have sent us a lot of these ideas. So, fast forward six months later, September 27th, the CC collates all of this feedback it has received and presents it to the membership in the form of a proposal entitled Not Just Another Political Party. And together with this proposal, we open up the floor to amendments to it and counter proposals. And it is that process that ended last week, October 20th, meaning that hundreds of comments from you later, here we are, one step away from what is probably one of the M25's most important internal votes since it was established in 2016, whether or not our movement should be directly engaged in elections. Having read all the comments that you sent in, uh, the CC feels that there is a number of concerns that can be quite easily reassured, uh, while others are more complex. First of all, some of you are members of political parties, and as such you feel that if DiEM were to create a political party in your country, you would have to choose between your membership in the political party you currently support and DiEM25's national party. Now, in this case you would be correct. However, the CC's proposal underlines the importance of making membership of the electoral wing voluntary. A member of DiEM25, the movement, doesn't automatically have to be a member of DiEM25's national party in whatever country you reside in. That means that you would have the choice to remain a member of, the, of your current political party while being a member of DiEM25 as a movement. Secondly, a few of you also sent us a number of preconditions that you feel DiEM25 parties should fulfill before being allowed to form. Now, as you will see, a number of these preconditions have been included in the amended version of the CC's proposal. However, it is important to remember what this vote we're having right now is really about. It is about whether DiEM should be directly engaged in elections in Europe. The how, the where, the when of this implementation is something that will be decided at a later point, again in the same way that we decide everything in DiEM25, which is collectively. Which brings me to the third point. A few of you had some concerns about DiEM's strength and its ability to successfully contest elections. We cannot shy away from elections, nor can we abandon them to the authoritarian and incompetent forces that currently control them in our continent. Having said that, what is being proposed right now for Diem is an additional tool through which to pursue our mission. That means that running in elections will be done in certain countries where we have courageous members who can't wait to get started with this, but it might not even be considered in others where members feel that not all alternative political options have been explored. This conversation does not end with this vote. It starts with this vote. But the bottom line of the whole discussion is this. We will not become more powerful electorally unless we have an electoral wing working explicitly on strengthening us. Where does that leave us now? What's coming up is a vote on November 1st. You can find all the proposals already on our website. If you are new to our movement or to this particular conversation, I strongly encourage you to go on our website and click on the Not Just Another Political Party banner, which has an in-depth look in the CC's proposal and the general debate around it. Also, I strongly encourage you to check out a video of Yanis representing the CC and responding to some of our members' questions and concerns. 
on how this electoral wing could uh, take shape. And of course the vote. Between November 1st at 11.59pm and November 7th at 11.59pm uh, we will be called to vote on this proposal. Until then, the discussion continues. Feel free to contact me or anybody else on the CC and indeed your fellow DMers to keep the conversation alive and strong. But no matter what you do, don't forget to vote. Copy diem. <laughs>